In the United States, public policy emerges out of the debate between conflicting interest groups. At the political table, the national interest is hard to define. Many people who are in the sweetener industry feel put upon and beat upon and, and feel like that our government is trying to sacrifice us. And I think perhaps many times we become very emotional about this. And, um, because in any other industry, it would seem that if they excelled and if they did well and if an industry became self-sufficient that that would be a good thing. But I mean after all, yeah. talk about self-sufficiency, but, but it's self-sufficiency with a subsidy. No. I mean that's where the issue comes down to. Yeah. And even if it isn't direct government expenditures in this case, yeah. most of it is at the expense of consumers and uh, the nation as a whole loses. from that. I don't believe that the cost of the U.S. consumer is a real issue as such. The real issue is that both the EC and the U.S. sugar policies have contributed uh, to, to ruin the, the sugar industry in the third country, in the developing country. It just so happened that those people grow cane and not choose. I mean, you know, but that's the situation. But, but I agree in the sense of arguing that the real issue is misusing our resources globally, okay? It isn't just that that comes out of the consumer. That's part of it. But the point is that we're not making efficient use of our resources when we do this. Now, there was a time when the U.S. was so predominant in, in the international economy, they didn't have to worry about these things. But I don't think that's the case here. There's nothing else we can do in Louisiana other than raise sugar cane. And we have 10,000 people that depend on us. And we buy $32 million worth of equipment in the United States. And that's jobs for a lot of other people. And we hire a lot of minorities. So it's a matter of who you want to sacrifice. And we can compete with a lower price than what the support price is right now, but not much lower than that. And I don't think the world as a whole can produce it. And then you're going to buy sugar from some of these third world countries, and that money doesn't trickle down to all these poor people. Most of that money goes to the 10% of the owners, and they don't pay their people nearly what we have to pay our people. So you've got to help out these poor people all over the world. We can't cut ourselves off from the rest of the world unless we're prepared to go back in time to a very different kind of world. The, the, the term interdependent world has become a somewhat trite expression, but there's no other way of expressing it. We are part of an interdependent world. We have sacrificed some of our sovereignty and freedom of action. Um, we're, we're, we've gotten great benefits from that, but, but we pay a price in terms of a limitation in what we do.